Well, the weather for the whole of the south of England will continue as it has for the next few weeks. It's going to be hot and moist, with temperatures rising steadily as time goes on. There's a chance of steamy moments as we move into the... Ah, sod it. We never wanted to do this. We never wanted to be weathermen and women, making innuendos about hot atmospheres and drizzly countries. We didn't want to be child-friendly. We didn't want to bang on about being for over 18s only. We want to talk about our sexy adventures. We want to be lifestylers, leaping from bush to bush as we say down the rivers of British sex clubs and mountains of crazy experiences. The cheeky purple mamba, the liquid silk pumped liberally into our hand, the rodeo classic brief harness complete with Tantus curve, the enjoy pure one stainless steel dildo, the hot octopus digit, the ever so short messages on fab swingers, the sexy friends on Twitter, and the mighty vanilla alternative. With my best girlie by my side, we'd swing, swing, swing. Get in the gym or to your car. With our advice, you could go far. We fuck things up and we make mistakes. We talk about our sexy dates. It's getting hard for this to rhyme. Just as well, cause it's bed. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bedhoppers podcast. My name's Mr. H. I'm Mrs. H. You have downloaded episode 100 of our show. We are so friggin' happy. It's amazing. 100. Oh, thanks for chiming in there. That's all right. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. The klaxon. The klaxon. Mm. The klaxon that signifies we have made it to 100 shitty episodes. Not shitty. <laughs> To 98 shitty episodes and two okay ones. Well, we haven't Maybe. heard episode 100 yet. <laughs> no, that's true. This this is an interesting episode. Is it coming with a health warning? It does come with a health warning. I think it should. It, also come with a poncho that is waterproof or something. <laughs> yeah. So um, to celebrate, we thought we'd do one of our most favourite things, uh, which is drink and have fun. Imbibe. Imbibe, quite literally imbibe. <laughs> so um, if you're listening to this without having seen the video, you might want to hop on over to YouTube. See what I did there? Hop over. I see. Thanks for hopping exactly into you our did. YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and watch the video of this show because this is an audio recording of a video. Yeah. Well, this not this bit, but the bit that we'll play yes. for you in a minute. So um, we sat down uh, of, of an evening and recorded about 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. Of batshit craziness <laughs> of pure <laughs> chaos where we are doing uh 10 measures for 10 pleasures which is essentially every four minutes we take a drink we take a shot and oh, yeah. we review another sex toy <laughs> now as you might imagine this starts off fine and okay and quickly descends into a level of chaos yes that, that transcends you decided to capture on youtube yeah we thought we'd film it and see how it went despite the fact that i hadn't had a haircut at this point knocked down <laughs> still not got a haircut fucking annoyed about that and also the fact that i seem to be a teenager and incredibly spotty so i'm putting that out there please ignore that normal regular mr h service will resume is this like the podcast of adrian mole it is <laughs> yeah 40 four and three quarters or something <laughs> <laughs> dear diary i thought about a girl today did you yeah I'm was her name pandora no you spoiled my, my <laughs> pandora joke I, I frequently spoil things for you i know as <laughs> as everyone will find out throughout the course of this video and the little bit at the end where we're going to talk about what happened after all of those drinks are we yes we are but surely the first rule of um, YouTube club is we never talk about oh, it. Oh, we're talking about it. This this is uh we we have to get this out there because it feels like it's the coda, the ending, the the Easter egg scene that's at the end of a film that uh -huh. we need to sort of give people because they've earned it. They if you know you may have listened to a hundred episodes or ninety nine of them or whatever, you've earned the right to hear Are what happened. Are you waxing lyrical about this, darling? Because I do not come off particularly well. This may, so in a rare... Without spoilers. Without spoilers. In a rare occasion, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, you don't come off as well as you normally do. How rude. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> you are no saint in this. I am an absolute saint in everything you the that I do. You set throne of lies. I do not. I, you really I'm do. I'm on a throne of kings and <laughs> things like that. Kingly men. Fine. Kings I might men. have been slightly more inebriated than you. 
But you, anyway, well, we'll come to that. We, after we the, shall um, unpack that afterwards. <laughs> anyways, um, have a listen. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hopefully you'll get a kick out of it. Watch the YouTube if you can, because we think it's hilarious watching it. We, we are um, cringing having seen it a number of times now. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not kid friendly. It, it is amusing. Um, it is amusing. Hopefully. Though. But yeah, we, we hope that well, you... Well, we had a f- fun time. We did. And I think what we wanted to do is say this is 100 episodes of having fun together yeah. and being really open and honest about all the stuff that we've done and having a laugh along the way. Exactly. So exactly we did. That. Well, let's roll the thing. Hello and welcome to The Bed Hoppers. My name's Mr H. I'm Mrs H. We are celebrating today. It is our 100th episode of the podcast. I know. High fives all round. That's right, gentle. High that was five. a very gentle lane. I high. know. There was no. <laughs> I don't do that. Anyways, we're celebrating <laughs> by instead of doing a podcast, we are doing a video, which you're probably watching or you might be listening to because we're going to pull out the audio of this thing because we thought this may or may not work as a. So it's still a podcast as well. Yes, it's still Excellent. a podcast, but also a video. I'm asking for a friend. (laughs) Anyways, uh, we thought we'd do something fun and special, Um, mostly for our sake, not for yours. But, you know, hopefully you'll get some entertainment out of this. What we're going to do is, inspired by something we watched on a Transformers review show, thanks to you, represent, we saw a thing called 10 Bots, 10 Shots. So we are going to do 10 measures for 10 pleasures. And what that involves is... (laughs) Well, it's unknown to me because you've kept it all a secret until okay. tonight. So we're going to take a shot every four minutes. Uh, and every four minutes, we're going to review a new sex toy or a different sex toy. Mm. Now, I th- okay. yeah, this is, this is how it's going to go. I thought this would be much more fun if Mrs. H didn't know what the toy was or indeed what the drink is. <laughs> To be, to be um, clear, for people watching, this is not the shot. No. This is a large glass of tonic water. Yeah, I know. We're, we're rock and roll stars tonight. So since, <laughs> since we're going to be taking 10 shots over the course of 40 minutes, we thought it might be a good idea to have some slightly, something slightly safer. Oh, OK. And, and these are the little shot glasses. OK. It's like the little clinker did that. Oh, that's very nice. Are you going to describe other random objects in the room? No, I'm just these showing what are these are my glasses. Glass. Oh, these... on the subject of glasses... I mean business. I'm wearing reading glasses, so oh, I can shit. see um, the the ten pleasures close up. Okay, whatever right. these pleasures are, and I don't know what the pleasures are. Okay, so firstly, Mrs. H has no idea what drink we're having, so we need to get the first <laughs> drink ready. So I've got a box down here of stuff. What of drinks? Of drinks, yeah. Woo. So the first thing that we're going to have is this drink. <gasps> oh my goodness! So people listening obviously won't be able to see this glorious thing. This Do you want to show it on the sex, sex toy cam? <clears throat> uh, yes, now you've introduced the sex toy cam to me. Gosh, that's cold. Um, this is Fallen Angel. And this is, oh my goodness, what is it? Coffee liqueur. Uh, uh. We are going to be literally rocking in a corner later on, <laughs> eating a box of cornflakes and twitching. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I originally got that this is because of the amazing and all innocent uh devil head jar so we have one downstairs already which is a white yeah that's uh, a red devil yeah uh i can't remember what was in that vodka i don't know gin? It, was gin. Taste- it was gin it was bloody tasty it was a blood orange so- gin and this is a coffee okay. how does that smell potent all right let's pour up the first one and get ready for sex toy town <laughs> god one thank you two um brilliant You'll be pouring these. Yeah, I'm going to say you're making a right dog's breakfast of it already. <laughs> hey, don't you bring the dog's <laughs> breakfast into it. I'm going to blunk that there. Right, okay. That is lovely. Now, so how is this going to work? So we've got an alarm that's going to go off every four minutes with a five-second reset. So it's I'm a nervous. gym timer. I know. I'm also nervous. This could be... I might do a sex week. <laughs> don't do a sex week. So I'm like we... a nervous dog. <laughs> so we've got to have a drink when we right. press play. Yes. And then I pull out a toy and And then you're going to pull out a toy yeah. and you're going to show me the toy. <laughs> Of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. H is my uh, own uh, action uh, figure uh, <laughs> out of his anus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what right else then. would it be? Well, let, let's go for it. Wait, 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 wait. I've got a question. Yeah. I have questions. Okay. Um, my questions are, yeah. these 10 pleasures yeah. are 
sex toys yes. that we own already, yes. obviously. Mm-hmm. But I don't know which ones you're going to bring out of your box of tricks. No. And you're going to what? Ask me to. So we're going to review re- them. Review them over, and we've got four minutes to do that, and then we have to move, we have to take a shot. You've and heard we'll... me describe a film. Yes, that's why this is going to be um, <laughs> the world's longest slash worst review program ever. Anyway, oh, cheers, scared. everybody. Thank you. Yeah, um, happy one hundred. This is episodes. a big shot. Well, I did tell you. Hmm. Go. I can't drink mine in one. You got to drink it in I'm one. I'm drinking That's... the other bit. What? Oh, it's beeping. Yeah, I know. Oh my right? god, what does Go. this mean? This means it's starting now. Mm-hmm. Right. The first. It's taken me toy. three swallows. <laughs> right. You ready? Yes. Okay. The first sex toy is this. Oh my goodness! That was three swallows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what is this toy? <clears throat> I'm going to hold it up to toy cam. Okay. Toy cam. It's like um, a jellyfish, isn't it? it um, yeah, it is a little bit jellyfish. This is a little flogger. A little flogger? A little flogger. It's like a t-shirt. My first bye, little flogger. Bye, bye, little flogger. <laughs> I miss you and the satisfaction. My little flogger. My little flogger. <laughs> um, so I think this was purchased I in... bought it. I where, bought where it when it? I, w- I went into Ann Summers. And Ann Summers. It. Okay, so it's Ann Summers flogger. Yeah. I mean, it's not um, a particularly professional one. It was just a bit of a bit of fun. A bit of fun. Um, and I bought it on my own because I wanted to just surprise you with a, hey, I went into town and bought this today. What okay. do you think? What do you think of this particular one? Mm. Um, well, it looks pretty. I was going to say, got... other than the sparkles down the side, <laughs> what lured you into Now, you this know thing? full well I bought this purely because <laughs> it has um, a kind of rose gold a uh, Swarovski kind of vibe going on with the handle, okay. which Maybe is you very pretty. Sort of describe it so that people on the podcast can hear what it's about. It's a flogger. So it's a flogger <laughs> with a sort of jewel encrusted sort of handle. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really got a pretty. Little, uh, loop at the bottom. It, I think it's pleather. Yeah, like I mean, fake it, it doesn't look like super cheap. It looks quite nice, really. It's yeah. it's a bit of fun. It's it's obviously um, going to appeal to you know women who like pretty things. Yeah, um, and, and also it's, being spanked. And yeah, but it's very it. gentle. It's not um, a particularly um, nefarious looking beast. Is it not? No, 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 no. no. Well, all so right. it's got it a bit a, of a, a sting. Little, little bit of a sting to it. It's not a thudder. It's a, it's a bit of a sting. Yeah, a little but, bit of a But thwack. it can also be used really lightly, like so. Yeah, yeah and that's the thing. I'm like, all right, <laughs> don't mind my face. But <laughs> um, it, you could also cut the ends off and use it as a predator costume. <laughs> I like it. It's got a nice um, a nice grip to it. It's really yep. pretty. It looks nice in a lady's hand because mm-hmm. it's jewelled and pretty. Yeah. Um, so I think that's probably what drew me in. Like <laughs> the fact a, that it like has a magpie. <laughs> a shiny thing. In fact, I don't think you even knew what you'd bought until you got it home and went, oh, what is this shiny <laughs> stick? That I've... You thought it was one ginormous glittery pencil that you could use to... <laughs> no, it looks pretty. And it. Do, I think I bought it for a costume as well. Yeah. Keep it in mind. So uh, in the days when we could leave a house and go further from the end of our road, mm. we used to go out to clubs and parties and events and theme things yeah. and all sorts of um, exciting things <laughs> like that. And I think I bought it to match uh, an outfit that I bought that was kind of pink and black and it okay. looked very pretty. It's not the sort of utility weapon that Batman might have strapped to his belt, is it? It's, it's not a... No. <laughs> <laughs> thwack man. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not a thwack man weapon. It's... No. It's very genteel. It's very pretty, but it would elicit a little ringing slap if you if you wielded it in the right way. Yeah, I think we've got a photo of you using. I think this that thing. is on Twitter. It is on that Twitter. That on the Twitters. Go to Twitters <clears> now. <throat> look through all of our pictures over the last two Just three to years, find this and you'll you'll picture. see me holding this thing, and you'll see the sartorial choices I made that day that match this very <laughs> vlogger. <laughs> sort of rose gold kind With of skulls. Vibe. And yeah, and yeah, yeah. That was all yeah, funny. yeah. Very, very nice. That's pretty good. So we, it's well, the first toy. out of um, five bed hopper points, what would you give this? It's a three. Three? Yeah. yeah. I All mean, right. it looks apart, but it doesn't really do a lot. Doesn't really. Okay. I don't think I've ever really truly used it properly. I've just carried it around and it's aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Yeah. What about right. you? Uh, I'd, yeah, I'm t- I'd say I'd give it a three. It's not the best vlogger, uh, but it does look pretty. It's got a nice sort of feel and look to it. And... I guess as part of a costume or as an ensemble, it works kind yeah. of okay. So three out of five for me. Your time is scaring me because ta- it's oh, really? time to have another okay. three sip shot. Okay, right. <laughs> so it's time for the next toy. Do you want to dispose of that one? 
Well, of a toy. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the shot. Oh my god, I'm scared. So we've got another shot. Oh, it's going to take me another three okay. swallows. Um, cheers, everybody. We're going to get a really sticky table as well. <laughs> Fantastic. So the next Wait, toy. Wait, I'm still swallowing. How, is, how are you inhaling okay. these? The next toy. You ready for this? Is. Well, oh, okay. A what? hot, uh, not it's a hot, it's not a hot. No, octopus. it's hot octopus. It's a uh, cinnovator. Um, so it's a cinnovator cock ring with tentacles. So, Mrs. H, do you want to give that to Toy Cam? So, uh, well, I describe I it to the <clears> gentle <throat> listeners. So this is a cock ring that's designed to go around both your balls and your cock. Hurrah. Uh, although I suppose it could just go around your cock if you wanted it to. It's quite stretchy. Very stretchy. It's a really nice rubbery feeling material. It's got a lot of give in it. It, it does have a bit of give. It needs I'm always to really there. scared of things that you put around your cock and your balls. Uh, okay. Because I'm always like, oh, my God, what if you get it? caught and you can't get it over the balls and then you end up in this tourniquet of, of, <laughs> of like ring. one ball in one ball out yeah. kind of hanging there so um it, it has also, a little tentacle well, and the reason that we have this um <laughs> is because it has uh little tentacles and little suckers all over the thing and yeah it's a nice size it feels good it feels like a quality product uh and and what does this little guy here this, do? This, there's a little <laughs> sort of nubbin of a tentacle poking out the top. Like a baby tentacle. Like a baby tentacle. And it doesn't really do very much. It can give a little bit of pressure around um, sort of back of your balls or around on your cock, but not very much. It's very. I thought that was designed to give the lady some pleasure. Well, I, I think you'd have to go pretty... To tickle the devil's doorbell. Pretty deep to tickle the devil's doorbell <laughs> on this one. Um but yeah, I, I, I got this because Mrs. H has a well-known love of tentacles. I do. Um, she also has um, sort of cock ring blindness. So if, if you happen to be wearing one and don't tell her about it, there is going to become a moment where she's going to completely freak the fuck out and go, holy shit, what the hell? Oh, it's a, it's a cock ring. I didn't oh, know you were wearing one of those. <laughs> oh, this is the best I ever. <laughs> I'm always really impressed by them. And I think... It's like jewellery for men's willies. Jewellery for willies. Yeah. Men's willies. Just willies in general. Oh, yeah, willies in general. Yeah. What I mean by that, though, is you can't really do much else. You're like, so you might as well put cock ring on it. You can't really do anything with your willy. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Um, but this one, this one's really nice. I, I like the fact that it does have some give mm. to it. So I don't like the, the metal ones. Um, or the, the solid they are ones. They terrifying. Well, I, you know, it just doesn't seem to work for me. And I don't like the idea of popping something in and popping out. I like the ability to just go stretch on the top. There you go. Perfect. Um, don't forget to put a little bit of lube on the inside. Top tip. Otherwise, that thing's going to rub and not the right one. I line. would not even attempt to <clears throat> put a cock ring over Well, we'll wait until we've got to, to 10 drinks down and, and that may well happen. <laughs> so um, we, we like do... tying a balloon on. <laughs> We do have a number of cock rings. This is probably my current favourite, I think. Is it? Yeah. I would have thought you would have gone for the hot octopus cock ring. Well, that's uh, see, I wouldn't put it in the same category because that's a vibrating cock ring. Mm. And so, it only goes around the shaft. It only goes, yeah, it does go around the shaft. Now, the mm. hot octopus do also do a one that goes around the balls and the cock. But okay. I've heard less good things about that one. So, mm. so for me, the in terms of regular, if there is such a thing, cock rings, I would go with this cinnovator tentacle doohickey. I give this one... Four out of five. Fuck me, that's a good score. Well, well that's what it's designed <laughs> to kind of help me do. Wow, you really like that. I, I like Does it. Does it just feel nice? It feels nice. I always ask you how it feels with a cock ring. Well, you, you tell me that it just makes it feel more, oh, more turgid, I guess. Like, more um, turgid. Like, what a wonderful fucking phrase I when like you're talking about turgid. turgid. It's a strong term. It just sounds like turgid no, to it me. It does. It anyway, you've got me a second like to give it column. your rating. Uh, three. Three. Well, it doesn't do it for me. It's a cock ring. It goes around your tackle. Goes goes around your tackle, love. I mean, all it does it, to me, it, it looks nice, but right. it doesn't do anything. Poor drink. Oh, well, no. it's time her up it again. Do okay. This thing again. Well, I dig for the next toy. Now, uh, this one. What do you think of this this angel drink? This angel dust. Uh, it's not bad actually. Now, this one, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Did you know it's going to take me three swallows per shot? Yeah, I did. Brilliant. That's why I said that we should go with the smaller glasses, but that's fine. If These are the same. Just glasses. fill them up properly. Don't be. I filled it up. All right, fine. So we've got two toys here. Right. Um, both are by Geeky Sex Toy. Are we supposed to be drinking? Yeah, we are. Shit. <laughs> it's only one again. How'd you do it? <sighs> Easy. Chug, 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 chug. What? That's a two swallow one. Oh, really? 
It's almost got like a mentholy taste. Anyway, I'm we've guessing got two better. sex. To- <laughs> well, you're getting drunk of that's what it is. <laughs> two sex toys here. One is um, this this one, which is the oh Aquamone, which is God, um, the Aquamone, which is kind of like an Aquaman take. Uh, came in it <clears> came <throat> in its own little case there. Should I hold it to the Do toy cam? Hold it, hold it to the toy cam, please. It's fucking massive. Now, <laughs> it is beautiful to look at. It's kind of it's kind of themed around Aquaman. It has like sort of scales on it. It's got kind of like a green bully base. The problem is it's fucking huge. Do you think Jason Samosa has a cock like this? Uh, what, scaly and green <clears throat> and orange? This massive. <laughs> uh, maybe Jason Samosa may have a Jason cock like this. Jason Mimosa. Mimosa, Samosa. Samosa. I'm, I might write to him. Dear Jason Samosa, <laughs> do, do you have a cock that is accurately represented by geeky uh, toys? Sex, sex geeky toys. sex toys, Aquamone. Aquamone. <laughs> so we bought that one because it was a limited edition and we thought, well, we'll give it a go. But one of the problems where we found when buying toys is that sometimes you can't really gauge the size of the thing mm-hmm. until you see it in person. And when we got that one... Um, there was just no Why way we were jamming so that bucker in. So It's the middle bit. Okay, for the first... Is that two inches? About, I don't yeah, really yeah. do measurement. Three, that's, maybe. Three. That's six inches. Fuck off, it's not. <laughs> it, that, that is three inches, yeah? Okay. Right, so this is about, what, seven inches? Yeah. The first three inches are fine. Yeah. They are really nice, really... We're going, it's all good. Then you get to, like, inch four. Yeah. Fuck no. Fuck it's no. like shitting a watermelon. Okay. That is not going in. All right, fine. So let's go on to the next sex toy. Oh, there's another one. Well, I've got two for geek sex toys. Oh, and this one this is... much nicer. <laughs> so this one... Um, uh, with, with sex well, yeah, toy Yeah, but you, you give it to sex toy cam and I'll sort of... Look at the so size difference. It is a lightsaber-based uh, dildo. So... Uh, yeah. It's kind of got like I think it's a Darth Vader one. It has like a oh, it looks more like Qui Gon Jinn if I'm really honest, but with a purple. You really are that nerdy. <laughs> I'm that nerdy. He's a, he's got a lightsaber that looks a lot like a torch. Star um, Wars nerd. I mean, compared to Jason Samosa, he's significantly less well endowed. So I think it's about sort of uh, four, it, five inches. No, I'd say. It's, it's about six inches. Um, oh, if we're talking like actual in circle yeah, length. length, it's about six inches, yes. and then you get a lightsaber hilt. And it also takes batteries, which means that it lights up like Mrs. H is displaying. Oh, I like it. It's really pretty. Yeah. And it's a nice colour as well. It's a nice colour. <clears throat> and this is um, a really good size. This is a good size. Far it? better than Mr. Samosa here, <laughs> <laughs> which gets stuck around inch four. <laughs> so Liam Neeson, better than... <laughs> but no, because I wouldn't say I fancy Liam Neeson. Does he have a very particular set of skills? <laughs> skills he has acquired over a long time. But I don't time. really fancy Liam Neeson. Well, well, you know... And I don't even fancy Jason Samosa. What am I saying? I know. This is a terrible really situation. Don't. Well, he's all right, but, but okay. Yeah. So anyway, well, let's as in part of this two for one because I'm going for a geeky sex toys right, roundup. Cool. I mean, well, I like their products. I, I think the products fair. are fantastic. Their products are very geeky, very, very nerdy. Very, I love that. Cool. What would you give this one out of five? I was very excited when I saw it. Yeah, and it looks fucking brilliant. Yeah, but I can't get the bastard in. Yeah, so it's a two. It's a two. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say two for that one. <laughs> I'm going to go with a. Mm, a four I have gone with. <laughs> All right. Aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. I can't remember if it really does a massive amount for me in terms of, does it bring me off? I don't know. Well. I'm going to give it a three. Okay. All right. Throw it on the floor. Fill so up a drink. I switch it off? Get the next one. You just push a button I've there. done it. I switched it All right. Off. Okay. <laughs> on to the next toy while oh Mrs. God, H pours a drink. Come on. Are we going to drink this whole bottle? Uh, probably. Are you twitching yet? Uh, almost, yeah. It's delightful. How much caffeine is in this? A thousand percent. They took all the caffeine in um, Africa and put it in in a devil it, is head. This, um, yeah, is this a dangerous amount of caffeine for a person to I don't imbibe? think there's much caffeine, to be fair. I think it's mostly alcohol. Right. Cheers, right, everybody. Cool. I'm going to try and get it done in two swallows this time. <laughs> all right, so... The next one we've got is a hot octopus toy. And this one is a particular favourite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out I'm there straight away. I'm getting better at these. Oh, good. That bodes <clears> well. Um, it comes in a little pouch like this, which is just utterly fantastic. Oh, hot, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Are you thinking about the hot octopus? No, I'm just hot from the alcohol and the coffee. Okay. Which one is it? Do you want to reveal it? I do. Oh, it's ah! this. Oh, this is. I like uh, this. Right. Oh, right. I'm going to show this to toy yep. cam. Toy cam. There we go. <clears throat> I so, do love the colour detail on this. Please describe it for the listeners. Uh, this yeah. is, oh, what's it called? What's it called? 
Is it a digit? No. Um, the digit is the one with the finger holes. Okay. Uno. This is something else. <laughs> we don't even know what it's called. Okay, this is where four shots in or whatever. Hot the, the octopus thing. thing. It's like the digit, which... Okay, it's a, a vibrator. Bullet. A, like a bullet. It's a bullet vibrator that looks a little bit like it might also be a lipstick. And it's got a sort of metallic red bottom bit, which is where the, the charger unit is. And then it's got like a silicon cover. And it's got a number of speeds that go on there and an on switch that is fucking impossible to find I once you're trying to use it. I throw it the room when I'm done with it because I can't switch it off. Yeah. So but, I literally... So on one side, this ooh, kind of ooh, on. Yeet it. Yeet I it. I learned this on Fortnite. I do. Uh, I yeet it across the room when I'm <laughs> done because I can't switch it off and I'm terrified of it then. I'm like, but, go away. So on one side, you've got the on button, which yes. is the one <clears> notch <throat> on the side here. And then on the other side, you've got a sort of volume up, volume down, which changes yeah. the vibration strength. Basically, though... He switches it on, gives it to me, switches it off again. Yeah. I mean, if you push the on button, I think it changes a, a variety of patterns. For you, you just like it on and you like like a medium strength. Medium strength. A medium strength. Um, we originally got the digit, which which is the one that sort of has the finger slide. But we found the finger slide thing. It's getting away. That, yeah, it makes you look like a really shit Wolverine. Maybe if you had three <laughs> on your knuckles like this, that would be okay. Like a weapon, like a knuckle duster. Yeah, like you could claw someone like a bear. But... Um, well, I find I don't need the finger holes. Because <laughs> yeah, you I do. No, I, oh, my God, you are <laughs> disgusting. Yes, I no, am. No, because I just move it around where I want it. I don't need my fingers to be in, inserted into some metal also, to keep it you Also, I tend to be the one holding this, so you tend to move to my hand to where you need, need it to be. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, but I, this little curve here works really, really well for placing against... The, mm -hmm. Your it kind of self-guiding. Yeah, it kind of it slots, nestles in. Nestles in very to well. To most shapes, regardless of how big or small. This thing, be. I mean, it's like a uh, a magic wand, almost like the power of that, and a tiny, tiny bullet. It's really rumbly. It's very it's powerful. It's not buzzy like some of the cheap house it's vibrators yeah, that you I was get elsewhere. Say, it's not like one of these horrible little bullet vibrators that you get free when you spend over thirty quid on summers. No, it's not a cheap vibrator, <clears> but it's. It's a bloody good one. And, and so for me, I'm going to give this five. All right. I love the, look, the fact that it looks a bit steampunky. Ooh, yeah. It's got a very nice... Um, I like the colour shading. I'm going to give it a five. Yeah. I, I really, really like this, it. It's like a little pocket rocket. This is a toy that you can take to a club and have with you. And we have done. It's like a silver bullet. Yeah. And it's just <clears> a nice little gadget to have in your pocket. Yeah. With you at and all it will times. Give you, it will guarantee you... A happy finish. Well, it guarantees you a happy finish. So we can't <laughs> yeah, but it's so not small everyone. that you can just whip it out and no one will really know you've got it if you don't uh, Don't tell everyone on TV down there. It. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> anyway, we've got like whole four seconds. Go. Oh right, my start God. pouring. God, Next, start pouring Next this, one. This devil drink again. All right, okay. So Wait, wait, wait. I need to pour. <laughs> you need to pour. Don't okay. reveal until it's, it's out. Okay, so pouring, 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 pouring. pouring. So, Mrs. H is pouring a drink, podcast people, video people, you can see that. That's what's happening. Oh, my God. This oh, one... I lost my pocket. Okay. Pocket. ...is the original... Oh, we've got a drink, we've got a drink, we've got a drink. Okay, okay. I'm going to try and get it on in two again. <clears throat> wow, this is great. Oh. Mm. It's like drinking the syrup that you get for, like, coffee. You know, like it's coffee really flavours, yeah. It's really good. It's nice. It's not too sweet. It's not syrupy. It's really good. It's fun. Mm -hmm. So this is the original Womanizer. Where's the new one? Yeah, you've lost it. I have one. It's in my drawer. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I looked for it in your drawer. <gasps> and all I found were pants. <laughs> and for some strange reason, painkillers, which is probably another story <laughs> altogether. So uh, anyway. I can tell you the new Womanizer is in my drawer. Okay, However, However, this is the original This is one. the original. And the reason... This is still good. This is still good. So... We got this one a little while ago. If you don't know what a womanizer is, folks, I mean, it's this like is a, a digital ear thermometer. It looks like it could take a temperature. Oh, <laughs> this says you're hot. I really and like cam. <laughs> can we show it to Toy Cam? This, please show it to Toy Cam. I'll try and describe it. So it kind of looks a bit like an ear thermometer. It really does. It's a clit sort of sucking device. It creates a vacuum of air of suction. Um, this particular one is one of the earlier ones they did. It's it the has tattoo nice, edition. The tattoo edition. Um, and it has like a With nice bejeweling kind of vibe to yeah. it. Um, it's quite simple. You just turn it on. You push the red button. This this bit here does. It's supposed to simulate many tongues. Many tongues. Um, but are gently 
lapping away at you. Gently. So I read. Lapping away. <clears throat> Obviously, it's detachable and you can... Um, change the head change to a bigger head or a smaller head. Now, can I say something about this toy? Please do. That's what we're here to do. That's the main point Right. Of this. The main cut and thrust of this. Yeah. Right. I was a bit scared of this when I got it. Is it because it reminded you of a Britney Spears song? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Toxic. <laughs> no. Um, okay. What we'll say, which is quite limiting, mm. this is not a toy that you can easily use with a partner because this, this thing here needs to be really carefully placed so that it achieves the maximum result so it needs like some laser targeting like robot well, you, you need of... to know where you put it like so someone else may not know where that is okay you 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 might find your partner putting it there and then you think actually that's not okay and the other thing i would say is if you move it even a tiny amount you yeah. then lose the suction mm -hmm. because when you place it on your hand like this for example or yeah. wherever it's supposed to be going it almost like like clamps down on you a little bit. It is a little bit of an endurance test. Having used it, you kind of have to go donk you, and then not you move your, your arm for you four have, days. You have to put your faith in it. Well, actually, four days. The one thing that I will say about this. <laughs> so, Mrs. H is very skeptical because it does say it will get you off, and you know, like that. I am so skeptical. And about she, those things. she did her usual. Oh, oh, no one ever fucking does that. Blah 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 blah. Um, put it on her, and then you came in a minute, seconds, and then yeah. you were disgusted because it made made you come so quickly. Where's the fun in that? I was like... But it did it. exactly what it said on yes, the tin. but it did it so far, so it was done. Anyway, what are we going to give Womanizer? All right. I, I mean, give the Britney Spears song two out of five. If we were reading the new one, yeah. I would give it a better rating because the new one is better. Well, the, the new one has an internal piece. We're right. not going to go into that We're not going to go into it. Necessarily. The original one, yeah. I'm going to give four. Okay. Because it does exactly what it's supposed to do, but you have to put your faith in the placement of it and it feels intense and too much. See, I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> And it's a solo it's a solo play. It is a bit of a solo play. I'm gonna give it a four because it did what it said on the tin. But it's not something you but can it was really worth it to see easily you angry about coming, <laughs> which was fantastic. So But it's not something you can play with a partner very no. easily with. Right, pull the shot, wife. Oh my god, these are so fast. I know, this is the perfect thing. So Are you enjoying these fallen angels? Well this is ironic that you said the word enjoying because the next one is this. Oh, we've got a drink. We've got a drink before we well, discuss it. I know it. we have to drink. I'm just waiting for you to pour. I've poured. This is delightful. Oh, my God. At this point, if we oh. were watching the Transformers 10 bot things, he would be a little bit happy about the next Transformer. Yeah, we're probably a little bit happy anyway. So, you know, there is always that. So this is the Enjoy... Still can't get it done in one. <laughs> what, this? It's not that big. The shot. Oh, my God. This mm -hmm. is... Um, do you want to give oh, it that Enjoy, down? not That's, the Big Enjoy, not right. The big Enjoy. That is the Enjoy butt plug. Now, I think it's their medium one, not their largest, but I, that might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What I will say is that it's a stainless steel curved butt plug, and it's pretty fucking heavy. It is a thing of beauty. It's It's shiny. reassuringly heavy. It looks like it came from Flight of the Navigator, which for me ticks all of the boxes. I love the weight. Ass, ass, get an ass, I get an I ass, butts, yeah. I love big butts Yeah. I, <laughs> I like the weight of this. I do. It's, I love the fact that it's so weighty. Well, it, it's a very nice, it, I mean, it's not too big. It I feels think, really but, quality. But it does have a weight but, to it. But, 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 but. This has been in both habits. It has but been. But not at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we are just one butt now. <laughs> we finally conjoined it. So butt. is this like butt level one for me and butt <laughs> level three for you? Is that is that what we're saying? I mean, it's been your butt. How does it feel? I like it. It's got a nice weight to it. It's, it's not, not too big. I would say for me, I, I'm. I would probably go bigger. <laughs> or it's heavier. not about size, babe. No. Sometimes it's about just warming up. And as a warmer, as a warm up. Like, this is utterly perfect. It's Honestly, just what you need like, warm-up. This thing, it, it feels nice. It's got yeah, such a fair. nice heft to it. It it goes in very nicely. Very easy. Because it's quite small. Yep, it's quite small. It's not terrifying. It's not terrifying. It looks like a quality product. I'd say for a butt virgin, it's actually amazing. Because yeah. it's, it doesn't scare well, you away from butt play. Yeah, I think, you know, some of the 
the butt plugs that we've got, when you go for a small one, they're <clears> tiny. <throat> The, Do you remember the one you the bought me? The glow-in-the-dark one. The so we, we, we got a glow-in-the-dark one. one from it. Uh, it might have been shush It's like a cat something. butt plug. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that it's a cat butt plug. No, it's a butt plug you would give to your cat because it's so <laughs> tiny. It's, um, my cat. it's like um, ninjas use several of them to fire off at people. It is literally the tiniest but butt plug ever. the important thing about that butt plug is that it glows in the dark. It's not on the review schedule right now. No, but... I know, but it reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So we're now talking about another butt plug. I, I, I think this is a fantastic butt plug. My, my only reservation on it is the cost of it, and it's a lot more expensive than a regular... But it looks lovely. It looks lovely. It feels great. You can do some temperature play with it. You can get it warm. You can I get like it cold. I like the, the fact that it has a little um, hole that you can put your fingers in because that's actually really useful when you're trying to extract it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like pulling a pin <laughs> on a grenade, which is what can you I want. Hold it? You can hold it. Um, what I love about the stainless steel butt plugs is mm. the, the temperature. So obviously, when it goes in, it, it's really cold. However, that doesn't have to be the case. You can make it warm. And when it comes out, it's really brown. <laughs> oh, it's... Do you know what? In all the time we've done but play, I've never experienced that with you. Have you not? No. Or all the time with you. I hate The you amount so of much. sweet corn around that I thing is you just terrible. You don't even like corn. I don't eat, <laughs> even get to eat corn. Right. This is an absolute out of five, fallacy. Out of five. I'm, as a butt plug, I'm giving this five. I am not. I'm giving it a four. What? Because... Hang on. Actually, consider the divorce. <laughs> no, but there are better butt plugs because I, I think as a starter butt plug, as a starter butt plug, it's great. It's just very cold on your anus. Well, that's fine. I don't mind that. It I makes me wince in. a little. All right. Okay. Drinks up. Right. Oh Pull the God. drinks. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> so I like the litany of sex toys down here. The litany. It's a. It's an absolute litany. This is. This bottle is getting very empty. Well, it's very good. So. I'm getting a little buzz. I'm this. keeping on the theme here because. Ah, oh, because you're enjoying it? Uh, no, because. What do know, we do when we run out of this? Uh, then I. I find something else. Find something else. Thank you, dear. Oh, I'm, I can't get it down in one. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Now, this, if you can see it. I still can't do it. This is mentioned in the start of our show, or has been. This is the Enjoy is 11 Stainless Steel Curl. Oh, my goodness, the wand. The wand. You can club a man's death with this. Why do you want to push it? Oh. In front of... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's just nice, right? <clears throat> so this Enjoy Stainless Steel Curve, you could kill a man with it. Basically, uh, listener, if you're, if you're not watching this video, is a curved, I guess, dildo slash wand... Uh, it's got a smaller bobble at the end. Um, it's got a larger bobble at the other end. It's curved. Uh, it's heavy, much like the butt plug we were talking about. This thing is badass. And it's em embossed with their <clears throat> writing halfway down, so you know it's legit. Did I not just scratch my name in it? No. <laughs> the H was here. <laughs> yeah, wherever that, that was. This so is like a shopping channel. How many phone calls have we got on the line right now? We've got uh, <laughs> uh, we've seven, down. <laughs> seven phone calls on the line. And this is a fantastic Look at the weight device. That. Look at it. You, you balance <clears> it on your hand. Right. I'll wait till you stop talking. Oh, shit. Sorry. I broke your wrist Don't you, Yeah, you've just literally clubbed me to death this with This is it. according to like a, swan, a swan breaking a man's arm. This looks <laughs> like one of the uh, ball uh, Newton's cradle things that you'd get from like the Ace yes, of Eager. the Newton's cradle. I wonder if that's what they were basing it on. Maybe. Maybe. But you need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Nailed it. Right. So this thing. Tell us about it, wife. Uh, you want me to talk now? Yeah, pretty All right. Quick. Okay. I love this. Um, I didn't think I would because mm -hmm. I'm very, very, very scared of big, heavy things going inside me. Okay. And I'm very, very... Uh. <sighs> I'm really scared of anything internal because it's not my jam, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, not a, I'm not a fan, really. I never used to be of internal play. This did change my mind quite significantly. Um, I was really surprised how easy it was to enjoy internal play with this mm -hmm. <clears throat> so i'm still quite daunted by the big end 
However, I, I think you have used the big end with me a few times and it's been good. Normally I start with the big end. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, first. shit, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the only toy, to my knowledge, that has made me... I hate even, I hate even the word. It's made me squirt. Is that right? Um, is it pretty, the only toy? Pretty much. Well, okay, it has a better... Di discounting... Um, Parts of my body, yes, correct. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. It's the one toy it that's is... probably more or less guaranteed to get a reaction. It, yeah, and it's a pretty much a heavy, heavy workout. So, folks, if you're looking to build up those biceps, it's... Yeah, it's a, <laughs> and just... I, think, I think we started using this because I damaged your wrist. Uh, because we tried doing like your the hand well, we, action thing, squirt we, thing. We got this because and this... you actually damaged your wrist yeah. trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I did. That that's also. True. And then we we got this. But we have twenty seconds, so you've got to give it a rating. Oh, I do you know what? Even though it's really good, I'm still only going to give it a four. I'm going to go with a four. It's yeah. so solid. It's a great toy. There's n it's no frills, but it's honestly and it's home defense. And I know we've got a few seconds. I'm just going to say one more thing. Well, you've got to pour a drink while you're doing I know. It. If you're not in the mood, this is not a good toy. <laughs> because um, it's quite invasive. All right, you ready? No, I'm pouring. Don't okay. show me yet. Okay, show I'm not me. showing you yet. This, um, this is a good one. I'm folks. still talking about the other one. It's quite invasive. So if you're not in the mood for it, it can be quite um, an unwelcome uh, guest into your uterus. It's the honour that I guess the state. We are going to run out of... of Fallen Angel. We'll be fine. I'll, we've got other drinks. Other drinks oh are God. available. Right, you have to drink. Okay. You ready? You've got three and a half minutes. Okay. So. I still got to. Come on. <laughs> are you ready? I'm not going to give this to you while you're drinking. Ready? I still. <laughs> I bloody knew this thing would be in there. <clears throat> oh my god, I hate this. Can I set fire to it? No, you got to explain what it is. Can I first. please set fire right, to one, it? One, you got to explain what it is, and two, you got to show it to the toy camp. This is an abomination, and should never have been created by anybody. <clears throat> and the fact that it exists. <laughs> it's testament to the fact that evil people operate in the world and they should be obliterated. Yeah, maybe. Shall I explain what it is? Please do. And I'm going to say a word that I am more. Yeah, please do. It is a pussy pump. This makes it all worthwhile. I detest this with every bone in my body. <laughs> I hate it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Comfortable. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the fact it exists as a concept. I think it's very existent. It's a testament to the fact that everything about this product is abhorrent. So what Mrs. H is holding up is a pussy pump. I hate it. Which is essentially, it's got like a squeezy ball on one end and like <clears> a <throat> gas mask type thing on the other. The idea is that you put one end over your junk and then you squeeze it and it pulls all the blood out, I as it were, it. and enlarges you. And it pulls all the oxygen through and then enlarges your junk. A couple of points to note about this fuck nugget of a product. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Number one, my junk is plenty big without pumping it up. <laughs> it doesn't need to be enlarged. Wouldn't this be a great way to take shots? You could you could put the, the coffee stuff in here and then... No. <laughs> my vulva does not need to be any bigger than it is. This is horrible. <laughs> Number two, the very act of... Placing this disgusting thing that exists over my beautiful, <laughs> I'm going to say the word pussy. <clears throat> um, I remember the day I did this and I remember the day that I, I looked at you and went, I don't like the way this makes me feel. <laughs> Please take this away and burn it. <clears throat> Why does anyone need to pump their vulva to look some, some, bigger? It's not 
some people enjoy the sensation. Some people enjoy the feeling. Some people like the way that it makes their vulva look. That is not you. This was a free gift. Well, not a free gift. It was in a uh, Love Honey, uh, buy a pack for a pussy and get a bunch of toys in one go. Um, and <laughs> we tried it. Everything about this product is cheap and nasty and horrid. It is. It's not fun. Like, even the pumping oh, device. It'd be a great um, Mad Max Fury Road costume. Like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right. This, this ne- like, shouldn't exist. Throw it on the Let's floor. Let's burn it. I'm going to give this negative one stars. I'm going to give it minus ten. Minus ten. Fuck me. Right, pour us another drink, wife. Burn it. <laughs> now oh, we've, we've got... And it did not make me feel sexy at all. No, it didn't, but it was fine. We're going to run out of Fallen Angel. Okay, so we've got two toys left. Oh, my God. I think we've run out of Fallen Angel. Okay, gentlemen. We've listeners. run out of angel. We, we are going to pause for just a pause moment. Pause momentarily. I get another drink. Do you want to know what I did in your absence? No. I just like masturbated three times. Three times. That's <clears> four <throat> more times than normal. I'm just going to add the honey rum. Yeah, you've got the the coffee. I've got the honey rum. It was either that or the bee whiskey. I thought this was better. Are you enjoying the fallen angel? Uh, Have you fallen yet? No, not yet. Ah! What did you do? Nothing. Oh my God, you broke the gym timer. Right. Right, we have to drink. So we're back. We've got a drink. Right, I'm going to try it in one. Nope, still got to do it. Mrs H has got honey rum. I just had the last of the Fallen Angel, which was delicious. Personally, I think I'm the winningest. All right. This one. I also think that this is now going to my head a bit. Oh, a hallowed one. Right. This is a doxy wand, right? Shall we relive the funny story of what was before the doxy? Okay, right. Very yes. quickly. So Very we quickly. ordered a knockoff Love Honey, honey version of a magic wand, which is like a sort of big, gigantic, vibrating plug-in wand. It looked like wand. this, but it wasn't Doxy. No, it, it looked like a, normal, like a normal wand. So get on the internet if you've not seen one of those before, and it will give you the the state of play. I mean, it's exactly the same. So it and, just and this one came brand. with a number of attachments, including a cock piece that I could put my penis into. <laughs> so I thought, um, while well, Mrs. H was at work and working from home, great. You're now, so Now naughty. that we all work from home, that doesn't happen anymore. But I would slip that over my penis and try it. And now it transpires that our wand was broken and had a max speed of warp factor 10. Keep it up in display, dear. We, uh, people need to see oh, it. Oh, no. Yeah, don't get rid of it yet. So, and, and you don't need to show, like, sex toy can. You can show everyone else. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, how uh, uh, you hurt my knee? All right. Anyway, so uh, I slipped my pen into the uh, wand attachment, Looks like a shower head. turned it on, and it went straight to 10. Uh, the results were not pleasant nor clean. Are you sure you were pleasant? Because they did make you. Yeah, yeah, they did uh, put me there. Yeah. In like eight seconds. It was like, ah, <laughs> done. Right. I don't need to do anything else. I'm just going to be cleaning up for the rest of my afternoon. Did you have a sit down shower party? I pretty much did. Yeah, I failed as, as, as a person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should keep this up while you're talking. Yeah, you, like a microphone. Yeah, uh, so, uh, Mrs. This is H, my sadness. Well, yeah, that was my sadness. What was your thoughts on this? The, the wand? The wand. Oh my God. Okay, right, the wand. This is the Doxy wand, which is infinitely superior. The Doxy ones are fucking badass. <clears throat> it's a plug in one. I would actually say if you're tempted to go for a knockoff version of it, don't. It may be cheaper. And it may be more appealing because the doxy is fucking expensive. But actually, as Mr. Rage will attest, um, it isn't always better. And this, you're guaranteed good quality. It is pretty good. It has never failed to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, At one point, I think I was going through a phase of actually not being able to get there mm-hmm. <laughs> um yeah which is true uh this is many years so ago it's like your emo face it's like me 
three years ago. I like my chemical <clears throat> romance. No, it's true. Yeah. I was going for a phase. Anyway, I remember at one point somebody put two of these on me. <laughs> Do you remember? And you, you got there. I got there. You got there, right, with two of those. <laughs> um, with two of them, yes. However, la, I will la, say la, that la, this, la, this is la, actually la. an excellent, excellent product. It has never failed me, mm -hmm. never failed us. It's built like a fucking tank as well, which I love. Um, and it's very it's... pretty. You can get like lots of different variations in colour. We've gone mm -hmm. for the purple and chrome. It reminds me of the Chili's bowls. Oh, really? Yeah. If they did a Pac-Man one, I'd be all over that. Um, it, it's reassuringly heavy, reassuringly connected to the mains. <laughs> so it won't let you down. <laughs> um, it, it just feels quality. And I, I don't know, but I just feel like quality sometimes just makes me feel like I'm in good hands. Okay. You know? That's good. Right, out of five. I, I do enjoy your, your funny you, story. You've got 15 seconds left. Of, of, of... I am going to give it a strong five. I'm going to give it a four. Is that because it broke your penis? Because some of the that... The knockoff version broke your penis. I, I think the problem is is that it needs attachments for it to be really relevant no, to me. No, it doesn't. For me. For you. Yeah. So four. All, All right. right. Wife, pour the drink. Oh, uh, we've am got I on the honey one rum? toy left. I know it's going to be the fucking alien head. What? <laughs> the alien head. The alien head? Yeah. Is it not the alien head? No. Good. Right. Can we have um, an extra alien head review on the end of this? This has two, this is two things. But we've got to need to drink first. Okay. You have your honey rum. Honey rum. Cheers, everyone. It's still going to be three swallows. All right. Okay. So we have got two products today. Wait. Do, 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 do. Get in the gym and to your car. This is three swallows. Mrs. H drink lasting far. Right, okay. So we've got two things. One oh. is the rodeo pants and okay. the Tantus curve. The Tantus curve. The Tantus curve. Also in our um, your, intro. Your intro. <laughs> so the, the Tantus curve, for those who don't know, is, is a slightly curved dildo mm -hmm. based on a slightly realistic are model. Are you a little bit drunk now? I'm Please okay. say you are. <laughs> I'm actually a bit twatted. <laughs> You're actually a bit twatted. That's fantastic. Right, I'm going right. to hold this thing. Okay, so there's that one. Wave it around <laughs> randomly. In the show it to the toy cam. We'll be I'm fine. I'm showing okay. it. I'm waving and... it around. It's got a helmet top. Okay, so the right. rodeo... It's still got a helmet top. <laughs> That's what I get for putting it in a hairy box. Where is Noodle? I don't know. know. What does it matter? I don't know. I just spoiled about her. In, <laughs> the like... cat... It's, we, we've got two and a half minutes to review this toy. Yes. Right, Do it. here is the Tantus curve. curve. <laughs> Trust. But okay. apparently Fine. is the most uh, anatomically accurate representation of your own junk. It's quite similar to my own junk, actually, yeah. It is very, very it's, similar to your own junk. It's almost In like... fact, I've pegged you with this very product you and have. thought to myself, this is like fucking Mr. H with his own cock. How meta. There's quite meta. The other thing that we're <laughs> reviewing at the same time because they go Are together. Are you enjoying the fact that I'm a little bit buzzed now? <laughs> Very much so, apparently. This, <laughs> these here are the radio ah, pants. Can I show them to the toy cam? Yeah, please show them to the toy cam. They but, are very tiny. Are you sure they fit me? Uh, not anymore. They don't but, fit me. Yeah. They do right, not so fit me anymore because I am, listeners. I am literally pandemic fat. Okay, so podcast listeners, uh, what Mrs. H is displaying was firstly a dildo that was Actually, that has a slight curve in it. I wore them two weeks ago. Yes. Just about fit me. Okay, let me describe them. So she's also wearing uh, or describing or showing some pants that have a slot in so that you can slip a dildo into Here, the front. It, of them. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the thing. Are you gonna do the thing? I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do the thing. I'm gonna actually do it. It's okay. so easy. Do, 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 do. Here Which, is the theme music. Okay, that's not our theme music, but fine. No, it's no, fine. no, no, it's all good. Okay. How quick was that? Well, so these are pants that you wear so that if you want to peg or have sex with someone with a dildo on, you can do that very easily. <gasps> so uh, I think these are fantastic. For pegging, they are the best. Well, oh, my God. Actually, you've worn them a lot more times with ladies, to be no. fair. You have. Oh, Equal amounts, maybe. No, more times than ladies. All right, okay. Because the, Either the, way. the pants are much 
uh, much more simple than putting on a regular strap on. They, they are so rodeo pants easy. Are brilliant. The Tantus dildo has got a great curve to it. It's a good shape. I'm going to say that because it's the shape of my penis. But, but it does a really good job. So for me, as a combo... I love these. They are so good. As a combo, these are getting a five out of five for me. Yeah, these are getting a strong five for me. They get a little bag that's nice. We endorse these. These are absolutely brilliant. They come in different um, varieties. So you, these are like lace red panel type things. You can, I mean, this is like two years since you bought yeah, them. Yeah, they've been fantastic. Yeah, these have been amazing. And they are better than the um, the products that kind of go in you and they're supposed to be like a double kind of um internal strap on kind of thing so sadly the box is dry now oh i just haven't reviewed this still uh, right overall we, we have some time well overall i'd give them both a five as a this combo is a strong five yeah it's a five i absolutely I think, adore this combo i think this, this goes in our swing bag yeah i love it so it's, it's strong in terms of if you want to play with ladies and they want a kind of experience where you're having a strap on experience because this is, it kind of feels like it's part of you because it's not something you have to strap on. You, you can just put them on and wear it. And well, I think the thing is, is that you don't have the, the all the clips oh, and all the yeah, things. Yeah. It, you just chuck some pants on and they work. And if you position this correctly, mm -hmm. It feels kind of good. Oh, well, it should do. <laughs> that was the whole idea. Um, so if you position this correctly, it's like in and around and it's all good. Oh, okay. It feels really nice. So overall, yeah. what are you going to give them? Five. Five. I love this whole combo. It's great. Marvellous. And you so, enjoy it too. Right. One more drink. Okay. Oh, my God. To end this, this insanity. <clears throat> How long has this been? It's been like 40 minutes. Oh my god, we've got like fifteen minutes then. No, you, why do we have fifteen minutes? Because normally you do like an hour. We we don't need to do an hour and camera. It's fine. We'll no, I mean like generally, just in terms of audio experience. Okay, so if you've watched this far, you've then done happy day. Like, like amazing, <laughs> you've done really really well. If you've listened this far, thank you. Um, we just want to say that we we started this. Episode. 100 episodes. Oh my god. We, we, we started this show because. You um, started this show. Well, maybe. Okay. Let's have a drink and then we'll, we'll talk about this Yucky for just jar. a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yours is very full. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. How? So, how would you do that? Secret. It's so, like four sips. <laughs> so we started the show because when we joined the lifestyle, there wasn't very much information for people in the UK. So we wanted to help people that were starting their journey and to um, get into this thing and, and learn about it because there just wasn't that for us. So hopefully you've you've had that for you or or you've found that there's information that's available for you. Look at me being a supportive wife. <laughs> the drunken supportive wife. This is your idea. Ten pleasures. No, wait. Hang on. Ten measures, ten pleasures. This is right. Ten measures of ten <laughs> pleasures. It's fine. We'll be okay. Um, honestly, it's we, right. This is my third one. <laughs> yeah, for this week. And honestly, it's been an amazing experience. And that's down to you, listeners, for listening to us and putting up with our shit. So um, we hope this helps you. We hope the show helps you. We hope that you get some sort of enjoyment out of this, especially during the whole course of lockdown, because it's all fucking mental right now, right? No. No, she's all lovey-dovey now that she's all coked up on I'm the fucking... I'm not always lovey-dovey just because I'm... I'm not coked up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all jacked up on devil skull. On caffeine. Basically, and... yeah, she's drunk a whole know. head of devil shit, and now she's all messed up but anyway it's been fantastic so i mean my um, jokes on you i'm really hungry <laughs> <laughs> joke is always on me trust me um but thank you we want to say a huge massive thank you for listening to us for sticking with us for all this time and um you know if you're starting on a journey or if you've been here for a few years but if we've kept you entertained you've you know we're glad 
So um, here's to another hundred, dear. Another hundred. Another hundred shots. <laughs> no shots. <laughs> oh my god! All right. So when we did our first episode, you literally just gave me some gin and tonic and shoved a microphone in front of me. I gave you a lot of gin and tonic, and those lap- episodes going back are so uh, difficult to listen to. But I'm. Glad that because of me. <laughs> no, I, because no, not because of you, but because of the people that we've met on this journey, and that's been fantastic. So this is getting self-indulgent. So um, look, honestly, wherever you are in the world, like, please stay safe. Please have a good time. I love the way you said, "Stay safe." Stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. Please look, stay safe. Okay. This was your idea. It was. I've had a lot to drink now, right? Measures, so, no, 10 pleasures. But this more than anything your else. your idea. Look, we want people to stay safe. We want to, people to have fun. And we want people to enjoy the lifestyle. So, yes. for that reason. I'm over. I love the fact that at my feet, there is like an absolute cornucopia of sex toys that we've just Hoid on the floor. Cornucopia of sex toys <laughs> is the name of my sex club. <laughs> <laughs> We've just chucked them all down there. What are we going to do now, rest of the night? Um, I suppose a bit of sex. So that was certainly an interesting video to, to look back on. Um, I wish I hadn't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, what I do want to say properly is a, a, a huge, huge thank you to everyone that's listened, downloaded this podcast, that's watched the videos, that's supported us over the journey. Um, we couldn't have done it without you. Well, actually, we probably could have done it, but it wouldn't have felt very nice. Well, you tried to say thank you a million times in the YouTube footage, but it seems that I was um, extremely drunk and decided to talk over you. Well, it, it, there was a bit of that. <laughs> lovingly, loving, of course. Lovingly smash my thoughts and lovingly opinions down. Lovingly twatted. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those things where um, when when we have a few drinks, one of us gets a little bit sentimental and emotional, you. probably me, and one of us just... Gets, gets, twatted. Tra- gets twatted so and that's mrs h so that was our thing we we hope you really enjoyed that but honestly we want to say a huge thank you for for being with us on this journey we're really proud of the show um despite some of the moments that we're not so proud of and sharing them with you <laughs> like this moment that we're going to share in a moment wait it's not that bad <laughs> you've built this up and making me into some kind of monster no no i'm not building it up at all <laughs> um whatsoever but mm. i guess people want to know what happened after that I can't remember, so we might as well tell me. Did we go and have sex? Um, we may have tried to. Well, that's the thing, you see. So, <laughs> I, You made me some toast. I made some toast. So the first first step that happened immediately after is I thought I'd be very clever, as in nobody's ever been this clever, and make Mrs H and me some toast. Some toast. Great. Made some really nice toast, which you sort of chomped around a little bit, <laughs> and but really mostly left it on the side. I, I think maybe things were too far gone by this point. I don't think, <laughs> I don't toast, think toast was, was going to save you at this point. <laughs> now, I leave the room for a moment, come back in, uh-huh. and she's literally rolling around the floor like a big stinking baby. No, like a really sexy um, come hither and play with your wife. That's I, what I, I was aiming at. <laughs> I think the phrase I heard as I walked into the room is, where is the man with the penis? Well, okay. There's the nice penis. There he is. There's the <laughs> nice penis man. Now, I, I assumed this meant that we were going to perhaps engage in some fun, sexy times. Yeah, you would think so. You would think so. So <laughs> I, I said to Mrs. H, why don't we go upstairs and, and have some sex? Excellent Maybe I said it better than that, but, you know. I hope you did. I was like, blah, blah, this guy's a little drunk and, and I'll do a sex on top of you. <laughs> so anyway, she couldn't stand up. So no. I had to literally lift you up. That would be the entire bottle of Fallen Angel I did that. You were literally a Fallen Angel. <laughs> literally was. So it took about 10 minutes to get you to your feet because every time you got up, you kept throwing yourself down on the floor. Not right. for any particular means. Because I'm dramatic. Think. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> so managed to get you upstairs. How, how and, long is this story, by the way? <laughs> uh, like, I don't know, like a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. It's not going to go on for that much longer. I, I'm relieved to hear that. We are <laughs> swiftly reaching the the conclusion. Excellent. Anyway, so we, we get you upstairs and you get into the bedroom and magically your clothes sort of disappear. You disrobe like faster than I've ever seen you disrobe. Excellent stuff. And you're s- sort of knelt down and you're on your knees presenting mm. to me, wanting to be fucked. Brilliant. At the edge of the bed. Okay. Aha, Mr. H thinks. This, <laughs> so, this looks like a marvellous 
sight to behold. I am definitely going to fuck the shit out of my wife. This sounds fa- fantastic. Brilliant. So I slide my schlong. Oh, my God. <laughs> which I, I could barely say that. Place my cock lovingly. Oh, my force God. My, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Stop. So I put my cock inside you, right? Did, did you actually get that far? I Are did, you sure? But, Are you yeah, sure? I, I got to one stroke. <laughs> and then Mrs. H, whose head is kind of on the bed, just turns her head sideways. Well, gravity's not my friend at no, this point. No, gravity is not your friend, and immediately pukes all over <laughs> our bed. And then Fallen turns angel. her head the other way and pukes <laughs> the other way. It's like a fire So I've immediately stopped, and I, I've gone oh, into... It's good, it is good, it's good. I did stop. One stroke in, and I had to stop. And, and I've gone into crisis mode, and I'm literally getting uh, tissues to, to remove said lumpy, toasty... <laughs> Well, you know, some people would pay good money for this on a fetish site, is what I'm saying. I'm sure they would. <laughs> Hashtag... Some half-naked junk woman, like, throwing up in your cock. <laughs> Hashtag chundercock. I'm going with this. I'm going to run with it and erase yeah. all of the bad things that I've ever done with this new one that you've this done. This does not erase all the bad things you've ever done. Possibly not. It just erases one or two, which is fine. <laughs> so anyway, um, I managed to get you um, downstairs to the bathroom and then I pull all the sheets off the bed and I've put them in the washing machine, put the washing machine on, clean, generally cleaned up. You're just a regular hero. I am. Not all heroes wear capes, <laughs> but mostly because they can't make a cape out of the duvet because it's covered in Mrs. H puke. So oh my God. at this point... Um, I'm also quite inebriated, but I've been coping. It's fine. But having I've been coping. Yeah. Having handled large handfuls of wife puke, Ugh. I also need to be sick. So I make it to the toilet. Uh, uh, not just because of that, but also because you had a shitload of stuff to drink yeah, as well. I said that. That's fine. I you had to glossed drink. over it. You made it. This is fine. You made like I was the trigger and the catalyst for your... History is told by the victors, dear. And in this case, you did not win. So I was sick in the toilet. Um... And then, and then we managed to go back upstairs, and I managed to, to put you back to bed. So you went to sleep for about no, I didn't. You did for I about didn't. ten minutes. For about ten minutes, you were asleep, and then, like a maniac, <laughs> you were awake the whole time and started going around the house just picking up bits and pieces. Tidying up, yeah, like a crazy person. Stacking the dishwasher, putting all the sex toys that were, care- you know, sort of carefully I've, lobbed on the floor. Well, I kind of like rallied a little bit and thought, oh crap, I better tidy the house up. This is a right shit show. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm amazed there was anything left in you and any energy to, to go and do any of this like, stuff. You were like obviously comatose by this oh, point. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> the good point is, is that we were absolutely fine, which is good. Oh, we did in the in in the way have a miniature argument, didn't we? Very miniature. But. So I found that that slamming the door was a really fun thing to do. Three times. Three times. But as I did this, <laughs> all I knocked the all our little Star Wars pictures off and came and fell on your head, which was quite <laughs> right for you being a dick for that course of that evening. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know. But we resolved that very quickly, fortunately, that mm. hand at this. And then the next day, we, we had a delivery breakfast, <laughs> which I'd fortunately ordered before we'd <laughs> collapsed, and then had a delivery lunch. So oh my it God, was that was a new low. <laughs> proper crisis, you know, like, let's get back to form here. Somebody send us food it, and a basket of puppies and some Lucas It was some, very much. Some painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> Come and rub my head, please. <laughs> it was definitely that. I think we, we discovered how bad it was when it got to about, I don't know, just gone midday. And we didn't know whether we'd be actually able to play Fortnite later on that evening. It was oh my a, God. We were already sort of... Is that of, the measure of how that's, hanging that's you are That's the measure of how day. hanging we are. That, that on what level is your hangover? Oh, it's going to be tough to play Fortnite. <laughs> it is. It's going to be very tough. We made it. You know, you'd be pleased to know that we did play some Fortnite. We did. We were okay. Yeah, we kicked some ass. <clears> I'm going to swear that we won every game. No one can tell me any different. That's because I was there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely because you were there. And... You were very, very... Fortnight genius. No, let's not go down that road. <laughs> that, that isn't true also. I have to redeem myself somehow. I know. Anyway, so Chandercock is the thing now. I'm putting it out there. It should be on a T-shirt. It is not spectacular as Chandermuff. No, it's not as spectacular, but it's something. <laughs> and I'm going to cling on to it for my own sanity. Anyways, we thought we'd tell you about that little bit that happened at you the end. You thought because you'd tell everyone about that little well, bit. Well, there's a reason why I'm telling everyone. There is. This. Yeah, the, it's going to make me look stupid. A little bit of that. But also, I mean, you did that yourself in the video, but so did I. See, look at me recovering mm-hmm. there. Um, is to say, just if you're going to try and drink along with us, because, hey, that could be a really fun game, just be mindful that it is very, very damaging to you and it will probably make you ill. <laughs> so, you know. Drink, oh, there you go. So there's the moral of the story. Drink in moderation. Have fun. But Is this like the end of an episode of He-Man where you give the moral lesson? At the end of today's <laughs> episode, Orko learned that we've got to share and share appropriately. <laughs> I don't know if that was ever said, but it sounds like the sort of thing. I don't know what Orko would make of this. 
I can't really do a, an awkward. I can do a snarf. Snarf, snarf. <laughs> That'll do. We'll, we'll chuck a bit oh, of snarf in there. We Anyways, had fun. we had good. a lot of fun. Um, we would just say, if you're drinking, just be careful and don't do what we do unless you can mm-hmm. handle your booze better than we can, which wouldn't take a lot, or, or you've got or someone there to help you. wait till lockdown this and then come and get shit face with us. Yeah, that's also... Because uh, no one's ever been that clever. <laughs> no, nobody's... You know, let's take a shot every four minutes because that's going to be... Because that was your idea. Next, next time we're going to take a shot every four minutes and use the sex toy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think people want to... Actually, that's the point at which we'll start patronising our podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, if you'd like to subscribe to our OnlyFans, please go to... No, it's not going to happen. Not right now, anyway. So, um, in summary, Mrs H, what would you like to say about the 100th episode and for the years of podcasting or whatever that we've been doing? You've done a great job. Thank you. That's what I really... The rest of it is irrelevant now. I'm just not going to be listening. Um, I've had an amazing time just turning up and being given a drink and looking pretty now and then and talking. Because <laughs> that's, that's pretty you. much what, what happens on the podcast. It's all you. No, you bring some large words, like cacophony. Ooh. Yeah. I think I bought cornucopia. Cornucopia. Yeah. Corn- I have enjoyed copia. it. It's, it sounds like we're like never doing it again, doesn't it? No. Well, this is where we announce the end <laughs> of the show for today. But we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Don't worry about it. We're um, sticking around for a it's bit. It's been amazing. And we've made, met some amazing people along the way doing it. And I hope... Somehow we've managed to impart some level of um, support and resource out there, maybe, for people who are on a similar kind you know? of journey. Yeah. And definitely entertainment as we've gone through this weird year. Definitely. <laughs> you know, we tried. And I'm looking forward to many more adventures that we can talk about. Me too. Right, let's get a shot and drink to that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. H, do your thing. Well, thank you for hopping into our bed. <laughs>